The Nike Air Zoom Alpha Fly Next% Percent are Nike's latest and greatest shoe. In fact, all three of the Tokyo Olympics podium finishers wore them, as well as a large percentage of the rest of the field, including the gold medal winner Eliud Kipchoge, the man who helped develop the original and now banned shoe that these are based on. In fact, the previous version of these, the Vaporfly, according to BBC Science Focus magazine, was responsible for 31 of 36 podium finishers in major marathons in 2019. So, what's it like to actually run in them? I've had mine for a few months now, but as I brought them primarily as a race shoe, I haven't clocked up nearly as many Ks in them as I did in my review of the Air Zoom Tempo Next Percents. If you haven't seen that review, I will link it up here and down here. I have, however, been on a couple of long runs, totaling a distance of 33 Ks. The overall design of the Alpha Fly is similar to that of the Tempos, with a few key differences. They feature two air zoom pods at the forefoot designed to provide greater energy return. These have connecting fibres within the pods to help distribute the force and control the compression, just like in the Tempos. The air zoom pods are isolated from the midsole with only a small piece of rubber stopping them contacting the ground, just like in the Tempos. Except on the Alpha Flies, there's even less. The Alpha Flies have a full length carbon fiber plate in the midsole to provide that extra snap to every stride. The thickness of which is actually scaled to each shoe size. The smaller the shoe, the thinner the plate. This is designed to ensure that regardless of which size you get, you will get the same propulsion across any size of shoe. Unlike the Tempos, all the foam across the midsole in the Alpha Flies is the Zoom X foam rather than in the Tempos where it features some React foam. Zoom X foam is the lightest and most reactive foam that Nike make and they have used it to good effect in the Alpha Fly. This is at a height of 39mm at the heel and 35mm at the forefoot, giving you a 4mm drop from heel to forefoot. The one piece upper is made from an ultra lightweight atom knit material, which is actually fly knit, but steamed and stretched to make it lighter. Just like the Tempos, the Alpha Fly has offset laces, but the laces on the Alpha Fly are slightly different, designed to stop them untying themselves. The sole on the Alpha Fly is an even more minimal covering of rubber, said to, and I quote, be providing grip from toe off through every phase of your stride. So there you go. They weigh just 210 grams in a men's size seven and a half versus 256 grams in the Tempo for the same size. I found them to be a little more generous than the Tempo. In fact, I actually had to go down half a size to get the same fit. Looking at the two side by side from above, the seven and a half in the Tempos and the seven in the Alpha Fly, they look roughly the same size. The Atom Knit on the Alpha Fly upper, whilst comfortable, isn't quite as stiff as that on the Tempos. This has the unintended consequence of moving around a little when you run. You get this kind of crinkly feeling on the inner side of the shoe. Speaking of the inner side, this is far more undercut on the Alpha Flies than it is on the Tempos meaning your arch overhangs the sole and is far more exposed. Arch support, therefore, I personally found to be a little bit lacking. And the arch support that is there feels a little bit sharp edged. So far for me, each time I've worn them, I've experienced large blisters on my arches. I'm hoping this will stop as I break them in further, but it is a problem that I've had. The inner heel is somewhat rigid for support and there is a padded lip helping to keep them on your feet. There are pull tabs on both the heel and the tongue to help you get them on, but I wouldn't recommend using the protrusion at the back of the heel to help get them off as you're likely to tear the foam. 
If you've run in something like Tempos or another carbon plate shoe before, then these will feel pretty familiar. They had that same pop at the forefoot from those Air Zoom pods, and they had that same bounce that you get from the Zoom X foam. Except in these, there's a lot more of it. If you're a heel striker, then you're really gonna notice that extra spring. The full length carbon plate in the midsole of the Alpha Fly makes the sole of the shoe very rigid compared to the Tempos. The Alpha Flies encourage you to push them hard, just as the Tempos do. And the more you push, the greater the return. Well, this is a little bit awkward. Across the two long runs that I've done in the Alpha Flies, they've actually been slower. If I take my last two runs that I did, one in my beat up old tempos and one in the alpha flies on the same route. There's a difference of 19 seconds on my average pace in favor of the tempos. Now the run in the alpha flies was an 18K run and the run in the tempos was a 15K run. So they're not an exact match. So let's take the first 7K of both runs. This is exactly the same route up to the exact same point. On the left of the screen are the splits for the first 7K in the alpha flies. You can see they're not super consistent, but they're okay. There's a large incline at Ks 2 and 3, so that accounts for the drop in pace there. Compare that to the splits on the right hand side of the screen in their tempos, and you can see that overall the splits are more consistent. Again, you can see Ks 2 and 3 where there's that large incline. The average pace for the Alpha Flies for this 7Ks is still 458, and for the tempos, it's 451. So slower than the overall pace, but it's still seven seconds quicker than the Alpha Flies. I have a theory as to why I think that is, but I'll save that for the verdict at the end. It's worth mentioning that this test is not exactly scientific and it's just meant to show you what my experience of the Alpha Flies has been so far. I should also point out that my running form in general has dipped over the last couple of months. I've been returning from a couple of injuries, so I'm just getting back up to my usual pace and distance. It's tough to say at this point, having done so few Ks in them, but there's already some signs of wear. What I can say is that my tempos are about to hit a thousand Ks, so I would expect to get some decent distance out of the Alpha Flies. That said, the tempos are about ready for the bin. I said in my tempo review that they were a gateway drug to the Alpha Flies, and so it's proved to be the case for me. The problem is, I don't find them nearly as comfortable as the tempos. I think this is part of the reason why there is a lack of pace in the Alpha Flies compared to my beat up old Tempos. The Alpha Flies were never designed to be an everyday shoe, unlike the Tempos which are designed for training runs. If you've never worn a carbon plate shoe before, then these will take a little bit of getting used to. I'm just hoping that they'll become a little bit more comfortable over time, having been spoilt by the comfy, fast, but not race legal Tempos. If you're thinking about picking up a pair of the Alpha Flies, my advice is just go and try them on first to make sure you get the ones that fit best. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Have you tried the Alpha Fly? What do you think? If you've made it to the end of the video, then leave me a running emoji in the comments and I will show you some love. Thank you for watching this one and I'll catch you in the next one.